Do y'all remember a few years ago when I had unboxed a whole slew of cases from a company called The Hood Production? Well, they are out of Hong Kong and they released all these really beautiful Sailor Moon cases that were wonderful for that year's phones. I tried some for Android as well as some for iPhone. Since I do a lot of tech reviews on my other tech channel where I just hit 100,000 subscribers, I can't believe it, I decided I really wanted to check out these new phone cases from the Hood Productions because we are so lucky they came out with a brand new line of Sailor Moon cases which are based off of Sailor Moon Eternal. Now I know people usually review these for iPhones so I wanted to go a different route and review these for Samsung. So I do have my Samsung S23 Ultra here and I'm going to be reviewing these five different cases. I wanted to give a special shout out to The Hood for sending over these cases for review. Definitely check out their link down below if you're interested in any of these cases and if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments. Now you will notice that each of these is a little bit different from each of the other one. So I am going to be testing out everything about these cases, including the comfort, uh, pressing down on the buttons, and I will be testing these over time. So if you're interested in hearing the, more about durability, I drop my phone all the time, and I will definitely be commenting on that over on my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs. Let's go ahead and open these, check them all out out of the box. All right, so here we have our five cases for the S23 Ultra. These two feature sparkly bumpers on both sides. You can tell that the bumper are ridged and that is for better protection of the phone. They both feature an ombre rainbow print as well as a embossed background. You can notice there is some laser etching going on in the background. It looks very pretty. And let's see if we can get a close-up on that print quality. So here we have Eternal Sailor Moon and here we have a Super Sailor Moon. So two different options. Looks like we have, oh, it's a removable protective film. I love that both of these are very stylish. I like the ombre color on them and the glitter is super, super pretty. Now, both of these are kind of flexible cases. So you can notice there is some flex to them, which can help with durability and can help with protection on your phone. That's always a good thing to have with like these TPU cases. The other one I wanted to give a shout out to is this beautiful Sailor Pluto case. This would look awesome on a black S23 Ultra, if you have one that is in a darker shade, a darker color. This one also features the same kind of print style as the Sailor Moon ones. However, I ended up getting the smoky gray color for the bumper as opposed to the glittery pink. I think it fits really well for this design and it looks very beautiful. The last two that I picked up are both mirror cases. So these feature a very, very shiny mirror. Yeah, that's definitely shiny. There's my iPhone, ta-da! I have my iPhone up there. These are also quite flexible. However, the back is a little bit more stiff. These cases are not see-through, they are very opaque, and the edges are made out of a nice rubber material. There is no ridging on the interior of either of these cases, but they look like they will be very protective. So let's go ahead and try these on the S23 Ultra so I can tell you about fit, port, access, and all the good stuff. We're gonna try the mirror cases first. So the first thing I notice with this mirror case is it's very easy to swipe from the bottom or the top. So I don't have any issues there. It's also very easy to access your quick menu if you have that set up on your phone. So when it comes to swiping, since this is a curved display, quite easy to access everything in terms of the power button. Yeah, super easy to click down, very clicky, so no issues there. And these two buttons are also very easy to press, so very flexible, very, very easy to access. I also shouldn't experience any shadowing around the edges because the bumper on the back does not create any shadow around the lenses, but it does pop out a little bit farther, just like maybe a millimeter past the lenses. So it'll give you a little bit of protection. Yeah, I don't see any shadow issues. I don't see any glare. So good case overall. And the ports are very easily accessible. I also really appreciate that this is so easy to get access to. No issues whatsoever. This looks like a very, very nice case. I can't imagine over time that this might scratch easily, but we shall see. I will definitely give you a longer format review over on Instagram. Let's try out the other mirror case. Oh, very easy to remove from my phone as well. So that's good too. Easy to put on and easy to take off. That's always very nice. 
Here's the S23 Ultra with the other mirrored case. This one also looks very pretty. I love the metallic cloud background behind Sailor Moon. That looks very cool. Let's get a close up of that print. There we go. She's looking good. This is a nice case. I really like it. This case is extremely similar to the other mirror case. So you're going to have the same experience when using your phone with this case as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try out the other flexible cases. I'll go ahead and try this Sailor Moon Eternal one first. See how easy it is to put on the phone. Yeah, very easy to snap onto the phone. Very, very easy. Really, really easy. Very happy about that. Okay, so this one is also relatively thin and very, very close to the bezels of the phone. So in terms of being able to swipe from the sides, swipe down, yeah, no issues. These cases are wonderful. I love that they are built very, very close to the dimensions of the actual phone, which means that you're not gonna run into issues trying to swipe from the edges, which is something that you need to do with a curved display. I very much appreciate the ombre background. That looks really good with this lavender colored phone. The glitter on the edges is really bright and sparkly. I like the quality. The ridging is gonna be excellent for durability. This seems like it's about the same thickness as the other model case. Again, very easy to access your S Pen. And there's only one button for the volume here. So there's a volume knocker and very clicky. Again, very, very clicky. So really easy to access everything there. I kind of like that you have, there's a slight ridge all the way around the lenses there. So it adds a little bit more protection than this one does, which is flat. So of the two, I would probably choose one of these type of cases over the mirrored cases, just to add that little bit of extra protection for my lenses on the back. Of course, you could get something like a white stone dome cover for your lenses as well. That can definitely protect them. Let's try the camera. Again, I don't see any lens flare. I don't see any shadow or anything like that. So this looks good. I feel like that ridge is not popping out too far where you would actually get some any kind of issues or glare with the cameras. So yeah, it looks like it's gonna work out really, really well. This is a great case. Let's try removing this case and see how easy that is. It's a little bit stiffer than the mirrored cases, but still very easy to take off. Very, very easy to remove. Let's take a quick look at the other two cases. Here we have a Super Sailor Moon case. I gotta say this one looks beautiful as well, but so far my favorite is the Eternal Sailor Moon one. That's so pretty. This one also has the really sparkly pink glitter edges for the casing on all sides. The ports are easily accessible. And again, very clicky, very, very clicky buttons. No issues there, they aren't stiff, very flexible. And that is exactly what you want in a phone case with its buttons. So I'm pretty sold on the Eternal Sailor Moon case, but let's take a look at the Sailor Pluto one as well. Okay, so here's the Pluto case. And honestly, that looks really, really nice. The purple, the lavender from the phone, it's totally accented by the background behind Sailor Pluto. So it honestly looks like it matches perfectly with this phone, even though the phone is so light. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to look a little off, but the color, the color combo here is very perfect. It looks really good together. Again, you can see that cool embossing background behind Sailor Pluto. There's a bit of an ombre or a gradient going from top to bottom. You have the same ridge all the way around your lenses, very clicky buttons, very good there. This is not a glittery edge case. This is a smoky gray color for the casing. And again, very easily accessible for the ports. Easy to swipe so it's not poking out too far around the bezels. Yeah, this is a good case. Good case. I'm very, very happy with these. Now, as with any tech, I would recommend protecting lenses or protecting your screen with a screen protector. You can purchase other items on the market to protect those as well, but this seems like a very durable case. I like that these are relatively thin, so they aren't going to take up a lot of space. They aren't bulky, for example, so they shouldn't add a whole bunch of bulkiness whenever you add them to your phone. Here's the pricing. If you are interested in purchasing any of these cases, they also have tablet cases. There are cases for other phones as well from the hood production. So you aren't just stuck with Samsung. They also have some for other Android phones. 
and they also have some for iPhones as well. Let me know if you have purchased any of the hood production cases for your smartphones. I'm very curious if anybody else has had some good experiences with their cases. I've had several of them in the past, so I'm very happy to be able to add their cases now to my newest generation of phones this year. Now I wonder if the Hood Production is watching this, would you consider making cases for the new Pixel Fold? That would be amazing. I would love that. Even the Samsung Galaxy Fold line or the Samsung Flippy phones, that would be so cool. I would love to see cases that are Sailor Moon related from the Hood Production that are for foldables and flips. That would be very exciting. Let me know if you have any questions about these cases down below. And of course, feel free to subscribe if you are interested in more Sailor Moon content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Johnny.